Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica. I really appreciate that. Now, my name is David. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, to like and share. Okay? Now, uh, today I want us to talk about a uh, fuel water separator. Okay? Now, we are talking about diesel engines. That's why we are having all these kind of videos. Okay? So, let's go with the trend. All right. Now, diesel engines of course they use diesel okay and uh it depends on where your generator is and how you handle your fuels okay to think about water into fuel now you might ask yourself uh how the hell does water get you into fuel now the most obvious thing is condensation uh and condensation mostly will happen if you're using external tanks okay now, uh, in a place where I am, uh, we have external tank which is around 25,000 liters, okay? So, meaning that the, the DG engineers, they drink on external tanks, all right? And uh, these engineers consume around 10,000 liters or more a week, okay? So, because that's a, a lot of fuel and a lot of storage, so uh, condensation is really inevitable, especially in external tanks, okay? So, you need a water fuel separator. So, this is a water separator. That's the name. Now, the other thing that you can uh, cause water to get into fuel, uh, I would say carelessness, okay? Mishandling uh one uh maybe you're keeping water in these drums okay and then you you're mishandling the drums maybe you're uh, you're leaving them outside they're being beaten by rain kind of stuff so water can find its way inside that fuel the other thing will be uh when you're using the base tank okay when you're using the base tank and uh, probably the lead of the base tank is lower so when people are carelessly washing the engine still water can find its way inside okay then in most cases also if the tanks are buried in the ground and then probably there is you know uh, the tanker is old so sometimes it cracked so still water can penetrate and find itself inside uh the tank and then it mix up with with the engine uh that's why in most cases it is advised uh for for diesel storage tanks to be always kept full okay such that it can prevent this you know uh condensation okay to to take place okay which takes place obviously in the when the weather is cool okay all right now i want us to 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 know or to learn how really this water separator works okay uh we have water here we have diesel here then we have the water separator okay but let me say something a little quick uh most of the engines uh they will have they will have a uh, space for of course the fuel filters and then you have a pre-fuel filter okay so the pre-fuel filter also separate also the job is the same uh removing you know uh water but now what you have to do is to get a dedicated water separator because now this one from your external tank fuel will get in into here first and then it separates that water and then this few you know water residues that would have you know uh, past this it will be able to be removed uh from the pre fuel filter okay then by the time we reach on the filter you know the fuel is free from water of course you know that the filters and uh like the main filters is, is not typically for filtering water okay uh it filters because fuel is very dirty that's why the reason why we have a fuel filter okay so the water separator looks like this and it will always have uh this glass right here for you to be able to see that indeed there is water here okay and then you're able to drain it so it's not something that you're going to shut the engine something like that but you can really uh, open here and drain this water very uh slowly and then water of course it, since water is just here at the bottom it will definitely come out okay all right now uh this 
kind of water separator obviously doesn't come with the engine okay normally the engine will have the main filter and the pre-fuel filter so this one this is the anchor so you'll have to install it on your base tank somewhere anywhere uh, somewhere you can install it somewhere so that it can do you uh, the job okay so uh this is not a fuel filter it's an oil filter but the reason why i brought it because i wanted to show you how this thing looks inside so if you cut this stuff you're, you're going to find something like this okay uh though uh, the paper is like this but it's more different from this one okay just to show you what you can find inside if you know you're asking yourself okay so uh let's do this um a little quick uh before we do this uh this fuel is uh 7.15 pound per gallon okay uh less water so water would be like 8.33 uh, pounds per gallon now uh one gallon it's equates to 3.77 or 3.8 liters okay so if you need to know that so that means that the uh, pound per gallon that will be around 3.2 maybe to uh, 3.2 to uh, liters okay so uh, let's see so let's put this is a gasket rubber which will prevent leak leakage okay so this is the drain when you open it it is loose it's able to drain and then you can close it tightly so it's tight now let's first do this so we want to see so what we're going to do is uh, because this fuel comes on top and then water goes down we need to put fuel first okay so this is what i want to show you so okay so this is fuel uh right there now we have to add in water all right now you definitely see that uh water is settling down and then uh our fuel is on top so this is exactly how this thing work okay So this is exactly how the thing work. So if you we have fuel in here, uh, for example, water escaped, water will come and gather right here, and the fuel will be on top. So that means that if the fuel keeps coming, then it, it will it will always go to the engine, okay, and the water will settle down here. But uh, if water keeps coming uh, with fuel, that means that. Uh, if this thing gets full before you drain then water will start to go to the engine okay that means that the moment you see that you see water here definitely you have to drain this guy okay now this is it so we are able to see that this water will come down now we want to see it happening uh right here okay okay we will first pour our uh, fuel okay now you have to remember that uh, this hole here is the outlet and this is the inlet so fuel will enter here and then this will be the outlet this is what will go to the engine okay now 
we have this fuel here, okay, already. So now we need to, let us add in water. Okay. So I want you to be able to see that. So if you look, you're able to see that now water has begun to, you know, to change. Okay. The water is now going down and then the fuel is up. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> okay. Now, if you look at that, you see that you no longer see uh, fuel, meaning fuel has already gone up. So what we have here is water. So uh, if you see, because if you visibly see that this is not uh, fuel, this is water. So definitely you're going to come and drain. That's the same thing this guy has done. So uh, we have to drain this. Okay. Then you open. Okay. like that so until fuel starts to appear okay now you see how diesel is appearing right there and you stop because now your diesel will, will be clean and then you don't have water there okay <sighs> all right so guys uh thank you very much for watching thank you for being on electrica uh if these kind of videos interest you please subscribe give us a like uh we have a blog electricasolutions.com link in the description we'll start you know uh uh putting work there uh soon please don't forget to follow me on twitter at uh, david sengendo yeah if you have any video suggestion that you want us to bring to you please don't hesitate uh will give you okay so uh i thank you for being here and until next time i'm out